Figure 15.5 shows how a reaction at equilibrium adjusts when it's disturbed by changing the amount of a reactant. The reaction in this example is between nitrogen and hydrogen to make ammonia. The graph in figure 15.5 shows what happens when an initial equilibrium mixture is disturbed by adding nitrogen while keeping the total pressure constant. You could use Le Chatelier's principle to predict that the reaction would move to the right when the additional nitrogen is added. But we can use K, the equilibrium constant, to get a deeper understanding of what happens to the partial pressure of each component. Look at the expression for K and remember that the value of K must remain constant at a constant temperature. Now if you add nitrogen, N2, its partial pressure, Pn2, will increase. To keep the value of K constant, PnH3, the partial pressure of ammonia, must also increase to make the top of the expression larger to balance the larger Pn2 on the bottom. So the reaction moves to the right to make more NH3. Of course, that uses up some of the H2 as well as some of the extra N2, so pH2 goes down. The reaction moves to the right until the value of the reaction quotient equals K again, and then the reaction is back at equilibrium. This adjustment takes a little time, so we get a temporary spike in PN2, which then reduces as the reaction moves to the right. When the reaction comes to its new equilibrium position, it is with Pn2 increased, although not as much as when it spiked. PnH3 has also increased, but pH2 has decreased because H2 has been used up to make the extra NH3. This discussion in terms of K gives us a more sophisticated understanding of what is going on than simply saying the equilibrium moves to the right.